Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your September singles love reading. This is going to be good from September 20th through October 20th. It's going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs that are looking for new persons, new love, new energies, new situations, new exes, which means if you are a Libra here looking for information about an ex, reconciliation, or in, or in current partnership, this reading will not be for you. Please feel free to check your other planetary placement and to understand that this is a general message for those of my Libras that are here for a single reading. This was general, so it will can come in cross, cross, backwards, sideways, zigzag, broken messages, full story. Take it as it resonates. It either does or it will not. If you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, in the description box down below, you can find the information for how to obtain a private reading from me and all my other important information, including my link to my Facebook, where I go live on Monday nights and on Friday nights. So check that out. I may be moving it from Friday to Saturdays, but they're there. All right. Otherwise, my beautiful Libras, let's take a look into your heart space. How are you feeling at this time about love? Are you open? Are you receptive? Are you blocked off? Are you dealing with past leftover energy that has, is mucking things up? Are you, are you closed? Or, you know, where are you at in general? So let's take a look, please. All right, Spirit Team, let's take a look at my beautiful Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 20th for October 20th, looking for new love, new persons, new situations. How are they feeling in their heart space, please, towards love in general? Please show me clearly. Okay. So first card popping is a fantasy card, dreams, fairy tales, imagination. Some of you may be fantasizing about a new love, a new person. You may have caught your eye liking it. Feminine energy. Oh, yeah. Okay. So my Libras that I'm reading for, they've got the flow going. You're being open and receptive. You're allowing things to flow to you. You are embracing your feminine energy. I like it. All right. So what else do we have here for my Libras? Energetically, how are they feeling towards love at this time? Ah, frozen, silence, stillness, no words. All right, so some of you, beautiful Libras, you're not quite there with the, the feminine energy, the flow. Um, some of you may have somebody on your mind that you want to talk to, you want to hear, but you're conflicted. You um, are not saying anything. You're kind of just being, being a high priestess, right? Keeping it all to yourself. All right, so let's take a look now at my Libra partners. Uh, the people they ha you have in mind, future partners, how are they feeling um, in their heart space? The person that's coming towards my Libras, how are they feeling? Are they open? Are they closed off? How are they feeling in their heart space? Please, Spirit Team, show me clearly and precisely. No exes. No exes are welcome in this reading, please. New love, new persons, new situations. That's way too many. It's way too many. Please show me clearly. And precisely for a Libra's future partners. Okay, so we're getting clashing differences and compatibility conflict. So some of you may be clashing with somebody, or they're clashing with somebody. They're in conflict, or they're seeing that there's maybe too many differences. Maybe they have some preconceived notions here about love. Yeah, unspoken, lost words, regret, disappointment. Somebody's not opening up and speaking to you either. I'm feeling like major energy here for this, this couple. I feel like it's that couple right there. What else do we have from the persons or person or persons my Libras are connecting with? Word salad tonight, guys. Word salad. One day. One day, someday, somewhere, another time. Charming, graceful, luxurious. Somebody's finding my Libras very beautiful. They're very mesmerized by your beauty. And they are wishful thinking here. They, they want to make this happen with you. They just don't know whether or not that can happen right now. But they're wanting to bring this together. Interesting. Bottom of the deck. 
uh, the shock, the unexpected trouble, upheaval. Somebody's going through an emotional time over here. Um, right here. Feeling that right here. Feeling this right here. All right. So let's take a look now at the tarot for my beautiful Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, September 20th through October 20th, 2020, Spirit Team. For my Libras looking for new love, new persons, new situations, new energy. What does my Libras most need to know at this time? What are they wanting out of their next relationship moving forward? Overall, this can come through as messages or advice or guidance. But what is my beautiful Libras wanting moving forward in their next relationship? What are they most wanting at this time? Please show me clearly and precisely. What is my Libra's most wanting in the next relationship moving forward? Thank you, Spirit Team. First card out. Five of Wands. Okay, so I usually read this as a conflict card, internally or externally. But what I'm actually seeing here... is the willingness to put in the effort, to put in the work. You're wanting somebody that's going to put in the work and do the work. Okay. Yeah. Page of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. So what I'm getting from this, my beautiful Libras, is you're wanting somebody who's going to be willing to put in the work. That's going to be a presence in the relationship. Um, this is somebody who's not going to have checked out. Like I'm getting the message of little legitimately, like vacant eyes, scaring, staring at a TV screen, staring at a game system, um, staring off in another direction. This is something, you know, you you don't want anybody that is checked out. You want somebody who's going to put in the work and fight for this relationship, put the effort in, fight for it, go the distance for it. That's not going to just quit. Or show lack of enthusiasm or intention. You want somebody that's going to be loyal and faithful through chaos, through conf conflict, through ups and downs. Somebody that's going to remain hopeful and loyal and loving. That's what I'm getting. Some of you may be connecting with an Aquarius, but that is what I'm getting as the biggest overall message here. You want somebody that's going to go the distance, that's going to commit long-term commitment, partnerships, marriage, engagement right here with the, with the higher font, Taurus energy. You're okay with moving slowly as long as it doesn't stagnate, as long as it continues to move forward. You want somebody that is going to, to be grounded. It's going to be stable, solid, not boring, but we can move forward, not stagnate it and communicate. This is a card of communication. You want someone that's actually going to communicate because what you're looking for is stability. And there you are, Libra, right behind it with that justice card. Love it. Equal six of pentacles underneath. Equal reciprocity, both the give and take in a relationship. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody that's going to meet you halfway. Plain and simple. All right, Spirit Team, let's take a look now at the person or persons that my Libras are most connecting to in their heart space or will be their future partner, shall we say. How are they feeling? And what are they wanting in their next relationship moving forward? Please show me clearly and precisely. What is the person or persons that my Libras are most connecting with? Wanting from a relationship moving forward. They show me clearly and precisely. Where are they at and what are they wanting, please, Spirit Team? In their next relationship moving forward. What are they looking for? What are they wanting most out of their next relationship moving forward? Truth, honesty, integrity, knowledge, open communication. What else can you tell me? That one jumped right out there. You saw that. They want truth. They want honesty. They want knowledge. They want open communication. Because they're coming from a place of emotional turmoil, stress, sadness, and dis dissatisfaction, rejection. 
they're coming from a place where they've been emotionally put through the test. But they're ready. They're wanting to take a leap of faith. They're wanting to start over from scratch. Be the novice. Be the be the, the person that takes that going out on the limb energy. Wanting to start brand new from scratch. New day, new dawn. The new person. That's what they're wanting. I've seen the Seven of Pentacles flipped over for a second. So that's telling me they're willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for that right person. Yeah. Could be a Leo for some of you. The strength card. They're trying to, this is somebody who's brave and courageous and strong and can control of their emotions internally and externally. This is somebody who is very, can be, can be stubborn. Yeah. The moon. Cancer Pisces energy in the moon. Judgment. Uh, they made peace with their past. Um, they're, they're not wanting any hidden and disillusionments. They, they're wanting, to, you know, a strong, faithful, um, love. They're wanting to take that leap of faith. They're coming from a place of sadness, regret, uh, rejection, emotional turmoil. They want truth and honesty and integrity. They want open communication. They don't want to bring past situations, past persons, past energy into a new relationship. I'm so I'm getting with this. They're ready to passionately move forward. They just don't want to bring any past situations or past energies into their next relationship. They want to start as the pool. Brand new. New energy. From scratch. No baggage. I mean, like you see, there's the pool. She's running, right? With her companion. Do you see any luggage? Do you see anything at all? There's nothing. It's just them. It's just them taking that first step, that first move forward. And that's what they're looking for. Some button, no access, no outside energies, no interference, just brand new energy. Two people moving forward. Cannot stress that enough. That is very important. I, mean, I see that commitment, long-term stability, long-term relationship is important to you, Libra. This is what's important to them no residue, no leftover karmic baggage past, just two people moving forward. All right, so now let's take a look at bringing the energy, the two energies in together. What would your relationship look like moving forward? If this, if you two were to come into unionship, what would it look like? Advice, guidance, what you both are looking for in this connection with each other. All right, so this can, we can be where things get a little wild, all right? That meaning that it will be in this reading, but it can be. All right, Spirit Team, let's take a look at Libra and Libra's person or future person. Let's see, bring their energies together and look at what their relationship moving forward would look like, what they're wanting, what each are bringing into the relationship, please. What are they each bringing into the relationship with each other? Please show me clearly and precisely. What would this look like? For my Libras, what would this look like? Please show me clearly and precisely. Moving forward, two of them together. Okay, so we have the Emperor coming out, divine masculine energy there, building structure bringing things into tangible reality aries energy does not have to be an aries but could be okay all right so we have the nine of swords so there's a little bit of anxiety a little bit of worry a little bit of fear there but moving past that moving past moving on moving from troubled times emotional turbulence into smoother calmer waters alignment with your higher good and self yeah, moving on, moving forward. I like it. Yes. Speaking the truth, taking actions that are truthful, honest, integrity, uh, knowledgeable. And the Queen of Wands, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy, and that queen, but passionate, driven, charismatic, attractive, magical. Um, just a few of the little bonus keywords there for the Queen of Wands. So this is 
you know, strong attraction, passion, drive, forward movement, manifestation, passionate action, fast for fast movement, moving on from anxiety, worry, sleepless nights, it could have, would have, should have, that all that, moving on, moving past it, moving to calmer waters, taking tangible action towards your dreams and aspirations, overcoming obstacles and challenges, persevering in all situations. Um, yeah, persevering over heartbreak and pain for new love, new possibilities, unconditional love with the King of Cups underneath, and the Sun, joy, bliss, happiness, the happiness, the happiest card in the tarot, the most positive. Working together, destiny, transforming the past energies into something more beautiful. It's beautiful, guys. Beautiful energy there. Okay. So before I get in and start covering these up, most dominant signs here are Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Pisces, Aries. So if you are connecting with or have one of those people in mind, take it as a confirmation of the rest of you. If you're not, if you say you're, you're, you're connecting with a Virgo or Capricorn, it's okay. It's just still possible. Absolutely. Just not showing up in the cards that way. That's all. All right. So let's take a look now at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for uh, September 20th through October 20th, 2020, please. For my beautiful Libras, what is the most important messages, guidance, advice coming through for my Libras at this time? Please show me. Yeah, this is one of the spirit's favorite cards. Keep it open mind. Your soulmate may be different from your usual type and expectation, which means release your preconceived notions about how your perfect person would act, smell, think, talk, be, look like. Toss it aside because love needs to flow in its natural form. Let it be open. Be open to all possibilities. Let it flow as it needs to. If you put up, you know, restrictions, you know, a, a safety net, a net to try to catch love, you're not going to catch it. It needs to flow naturally. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this is going to be for you, those of you that have a person in mind where things look promising. Um, yeah, it's time to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Um, discuss your feelings. Open up. Share. <laughs> Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Ooh, all right, one more, please, for my Libras. What is the most important message? Yeah. I am not surprised at all. Playfulness. To cat recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This is legitimately like stopping to smell the roses, taking a step back, not being so serious, not being, oh, okay, I gotta find a relationship, I gotta find a person, oh, I'm so miserable. No, 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 kick that energy. If you're doing that, you shouldn't be doing that, but if you're doing that, kick that energy to the curb. Don't even focus on finding someone. Or focus on love. Just enjoy yourself. Go out. Celebrate. Have fun. Do so, do so safely and smartly. But this is about just legitimately stopping and smelling the roses. It's about taking a breath, enjoying the moment, remembering to live your life. This is all about remembering to live your life. To remember what gave you joy and happiness. And you can't work, 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 work all the time. You have to take time out to smile, to laugh, to have conversation with friends. To enjoy the moments. However it is that you do that. However you relax. Celebrate. Have fun. You know some of you may have to search for things. Because it may have been so long since you focused on having fun. But now is the time to do so. That's going to be important for your next step forward. For finding love. Alright so let's get some moonology cards here. For my beautiful Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For September 20th through October 20th. Spirit Team. Please bring forth the best messages, advice, and guidance that is needed for my beautiful Libras. Looking for new love, new persons, new energies, new situations, new exes, please. 
What do we have for my beautiful, beautiful Libras? Please show me clearly and precisely. There's the first card out. Take time to breathe out. Completely what I just talked about. Stop, smell the roses, take a beat, take a breath, take a rest, take a, take a sabbatical, take whatever is needed here. Just remember to live life and enjoyment. Have fun. Take a breath. Take a beat. <laughs> Don't be so serious all the time. It's legitimately draining your energy. Yeah. Energy is gaining momentum. And this could be good for some of you. This could tell me that for some of you have somebody in mind. You've been doing some thinking, some talking with each other. If there's energy that's going that's going back and forth between the two of you, that is gaining momentum, which means it's gaining steam. It's picking up. For others of you, you are coming. I'm getting the message for others of you because this message is coming through very strong. You need to take a time out of rest because you're getting close to burnout. And we have have faith in your dreams. Yeah, have faith, have trust. Trust the universe, trust the divine, trust spirit, you know, whatever you believe in. Most of all, trust yourself, trust your higher self, trust your intuition. It's possible. It's all possible. What else we have for my Libras, please? Your dreams need a practical plan. Have faith in your dreams, but plan practically. Take Take and plan practical steps to move forward. Mm -hmm. Emotions are running high. <laughs> so some of you, yeah, you're feeling that heat, especially with that with that fantasy card. <laughs> oh wow! One more, please, for Libra. I'm having fun with this reading, guys. The energy is light. It's very light in this reading. A new start is coming, and they flipped another one. The answers you need are coming. So there you have it. We have Taurus. We have Gemini showing up in this. Okay. All right. So let's get the final cards in this reading. Some oracles from the fairies. Some fairy wisdom and guidance for you, my Libras. What do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 20th through October 2020. For those looking for new love, new energies, new persons. No exes, please. No exes are welcome in this reading. What advice, guidance do we have for my beautiful, beautiful Libras, please? Ending guidance. Please show me clearly. Thank you. Look in a book. Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you seek. Okay, so my Libras, if you are read whatever you're reading, whether it is an informational pamphlet, whatever, whether it is a actual book, an ebook, uh, music lyrics, whatever your eyes come across a Facebook post for some of you, Twitter, a tweet, a tweet from Twitter, you know, something on Instagram, whatever it is, if you know, if you're reading it, your eyes come across it and it invokes an emotional response in you, or it resonates in your, it pings your intuition. Write it down. Don't delay, copy it word for word. Write it down and sit with it. Because I guarantee you it's a message coming from your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, your other side. It's divine, or your higher self. It could be your divine wisdom kicking in. That's a message for you. So pay close attention. All right? Like, I can't express that enough. A lot of people miss these signs and synchronicities because they are like, I don't know. And I'm going to tell you, if it evokes an emotional response in you, it's probably something that you need to look at healing. All right. And you know what? Don't feel bad because we all, even I, still are going through that process. Healing. <laughs> huh. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. So this may not even have to be, for some of you, directly to you. This could be you and somebody in your energetic field. A friend, a loved one, a co-worker, a, a spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a friend of a friend, whatever. Somebody in your energetic wheelhouse. 
may need a healing. This answer coming to you, maybe for them. That healing needs for them, or it could be for you. All right, what do we have? What other guidance, messages, wisdom do we have coming through for my beautiful fairies? Mm. Go outside. It's time to go outside, tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habit. This is about getting grounded. Connecting into Mother Gaia. Sitting with yourself. Think that there I feel like there's one more at least one more in here there it is moon energy surrender to the ebb and flow of life if you're feeling confused this very comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible and new beginnings at the bottom of the deck the fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby so, with the moon energy, pay attention to the cycles of the moons and your reactions and your emotions during them. And your dreams, I'm being told. Um, if you have any crazy dreams or even you remember your dream, journal it down. That's important right now. That could also be a message coming to you. But really, the moon energy is like the, the ch different changes, the flow, right? And it's telling you to go with the, the ebb and the flow of life. Be in that feminine energy. Some of my Libras here, you've already mastered that. You are legitimately taking on the energy of the divine feminine and the empress. And that is so awesome. So to my Libra empresses out there, you're looking fantastic. For those of you that are still working, hey, we, we're we all getting there. We'll all get there. Keep working. Keep at it. Open yourself up, pay attention to the moon, the flows, the cycle. Don't be an action taker. Don't be the divine masculine or be in the masculine energy all the time. Remember, there's times where we need to take action. There's other times when we need to step back and allow it to flow. You're being guided right now to step back and allow things to flow to you and to heal what needs to be healed. All right, guys, that is all the messages coming through at this time. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated for you or came to fruition. So even if it is months, a month, two months, three months, six months, a year after this video, come back and say, this, this happened. Like this was right. This happened. Let me know. Let me know what, it, how this turns out. I'm really invested, Libra, really invested. All right. So for everybody else. You have not yet done so please hit that like share subscribe button would love to have you part of the Cassirian soul family to all my beautiful subscribers out there who have stuck through this video all the way to the end thank you thank you for your shares your comments your subscription your private readings your donations I could never do any of this without you. So my love and blessings and good vibes are being sent out to each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Last but not least to everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, life to, remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every single day. Namaste, guys. Bye for now.